Welcome to the Technician in a Box tutorial video. Today you'll see a step-by-step -step demo of the work order software included in our Technician in a Box solution. Although this software was designed specifically for the HVAC industry, it can be modified to work with nearly any type of service-based business. With Technician in a Box, you can easily move from paper forms to a true mobile computing platform that's designed to meet your exact reporting needs. This bundle includes Tracer Plus pre-configured software wrapped around Motorola's award-winning MC75A mobile computer. Accessories including a single-slot cradle, power supply, communication cable, and the award-winning Datamax O'Neill portable printer are also included. The following video will show you all the available features in Technician in a Box and the benefits it can offer your company. So what you're looking at here is our Tracer Plus application with the Tech in a Box app loaded. Uh, you'll see that it has a data entry and a view data tab. The data entry tab, um, you'll see the work order session. This is where the tech will actually be doing the work order. And then if we go to our view data tab, you'll see various uh, options for, for items, uh, parts list, uh, work order list, the customer list. Um, these sessions you can actually preload data to, which I have done for this demo, and we actually also include sample data within this uh, Tech in a Box application. Uh, also keep in mind that this data can be accessed wirelessly. Uh, if you wanted your text to work in a real-time environment, this data can be loaded to a database, which then the devices can talk to. In this case, uh, the, the data is loaded locally to the device, so I'll go ahead and start a work order. Now what I've done is actually logged in to Tracer Plus using our login feature. Um, I logged in as Technician Joe. Once you do that, you'll actually see your work orders get filtered down. So the work orders you're seeing now are only those that are assigned to Technician Joe. So we'll go ahead and select one. Once you select an item from the grid, you'll see a populate below. So we see our work order number, our customer, the reported problem, and a date promised. If we click the customer info tab, you'll see the customer's address, city, state, zip, uh, their phone number if you need to contact them, tax rate if you're assigning tax to them or charging tax, and a PO reference number if one was given. So we'll go ahead and click back. And once we reviewed this information, we can go ahead and click Next to proceed. And here's where we can enter a detailed explanation of the repairs performed. So we'll say in this case, uh, we replaced the DC power unit. And let's say we clean the filters. You can also actually take photos, um, whether it be photos of damage or photos to prove that you replaced with a new part. Um, so we'll go ahead and click this photo button. We'll go ahead and click picture. And we'll go ahead and take a picture of this pump here. So once that's taken, we can go ahead and hit the OK button. From this screen, you can actually review your image. So if you wanted to retake the picture, you could press this picture button again. Um, if the picture is good, you can go ahead and click Done. Uh, you can obviously take more photos as necessary. So we'll go ahead and add some parts to the work order. So this is where you can actually add parts you're using for this, this work order. So we'll go ahead and either enter or scan a part number. You'll see the description is looked up, uh, the quantity on hand, and the current price. Uh, you can actually manage the inventory that's on the truck or maybe a warehouse um, as you pull parts off of this truck. So we'll go ahead and say we use the quantity of one. And then you'll see that part used get updated down below. We'll enter another part. We'll say we use two clamps. And 
in one more. Uh, this will be the power box that we replaced. So as we're adding, you'll see them accumulate in the grid below. So we'll go ahead and click the back button now that we're done adding parts. And down here is a job info section. This is where you can act actually enter information about the labor you perform. So you can enter the hours, so we'll say one hour. The labor type that was done, this can obviously be customized to uh, anything that, you know, that would pertain to your particular application. So we're going to say an item replace, which has a rate of $75. So you see our total amount of 75 Then we'll do another one down here. We'll say 0.5 hours of item service. And you'll see that has a rate of 45 for a total of 2250 so once you've described the repairs performed, added any parts, and defined the job info, you go ahead and click this Finish Order. Here you can enter any other comments as necessary. You can choose the service type, whether it was regular, covered under warranty, or a service contract. So we'll go ahead and say regular. And you select the payment method. We'll say check. And once the customer and yourself reviews the totals, you'll see the labor cost, parts total, subtotal, tax, and then the actual work order total. <clears throat> you can go ahead and click the customer acknowledge. Here's a brief statement that you can present to your customer. Um, you can either read it to them or have them read it. Uh, once they agree, you go ahead and capture their signature. And once you're finished, you click the Save and Close Work Order. When you're ready to proceed to a new work order, you go ahead and click this Main button. And you'll see that that work order has been removed from the list because it has been closed. If I were to click on another work order, you'll see the same thing happen. We have customer Bill Jones and a reported problem of smell coming from heater ducts. Once again, you can view the customer data. We'll go ahead and click Next. And we'll just say we replaced filters. We'll go ahead and add part to the work order. Filter, we'll say we replaced three. We'll click Back. Say we took a half hour, and it was an item replaced for thirty-seven fifty. Service type will say regular and cash. Once again, we'll get the customer to acknowledge, capture their signature, save and close, and click main. We'll see that work order disappeared. Now keep in mind, since this is developed off of the Tracer Plus platform, um, you can actually customize it to your specific needs. Um, that goes for the data that's included in the drop-down, the data that's actually loaded to the device, as well as, you know, the different fields that we offer. But that includes the demonstration of the Tech in a Box product. Again, thank you, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.